Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the CowWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, today we're going to be working with the barn door and I do all my videos in advance so I'm not sure if some of my other ones have come out yet or not based on the way that I schedule them. But this one, we're actually going to use the slider uh, framelits that come with it. Uh, if you buy a bundle, that is. And here's everything that you get. And there's all kinds of ways that you can cut out the wreaths, the flower wreaths, the flowers by themselves, um, the door, wonderful sayings. So let me show you what we're going to do today. To expedite things, I have gone ahead and cut a few things, but I will uh, stop and explain some things along the way too because I don't want this video to get too long. As always, in the top in the eye and below in the bottom in the description, you will find links back to this blog post that has all the descriptions and the measurements and supplies that I have used. So no need to take any notes or write anything down. Now this one, as you can see, says, may your troubles be less and your blessings be more. And when you slide the door over, it says, and nothing but happiness come through the door. And I'm a farm girl, as you know. So I did cherry cobbler on black. And then on the inside, I, I put some uh, whisper white in there so you could actually ride on it. Now these hinges and this bar are simply for looks. The mechanism is uh, some 8 millimeter uh, washers, and I'm going to show you about those. But right off the bat, let's go ahead and set this aside. Bring in a piece of cherry cobbler, some memento tuxedo black, and let's get that good and inked up. Because I want a really good impression. It's a large stamp set, and Cherry Cobbler is dark. It's one of my favorite colors, so I'm going to give that just a second to absorb. See, and I missed it right there. I didn't push hard enough, so let's try that again. You know, we're always keeping it real. Whoops, let's turn that around. That's why we have two sides to every piece of paper, so let's go ahead and give that a really good impression, because I want it really to absorb. There we go, much, much better. All right, we also need to grab some Whisper White. And I've got my Cherry Cobbler and my Soft Suede, because we're going to do this wreath. And the way the wreath works is you first well, you could do it in either order, I guess, but you want to stamp your wreath, okay? And then you want to clean that off, and then you're going to stamp it again in the color that you want your bow, because there is a die specifically for the bow. Get that evenly covered. So you'd cut the wreath out, and then we'll pop up the bow, okay? Beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and put those away. So let me show you how some of these dies work. I have, uh, and actually I wanna show you this real quick. I've run this background piece of cherry collar, which is the wall of my barn, through my Pinewood Planks Dynamics embossing folder, all right? Now, these are our thick embossing folders, so I wanted to go ahead and bring this over here and show you that you only need to use your Big Shop platform, your embossing folder, and one acrylic plate. This is the sandwich to use for the dynamic embossing folders, one acrylic plate. So now that I've showed you that, we'll get that out of the way. And let's bring these dies in so I can show you how they work. We've got a die here for the door. We've got a die for the wreath, like I said. And then we've got a die for the bow, like I told you. So that would cut those out. This long piece is a perfect opportunity for you to use a piece of your scrap black that you've got right here. And you know, I use my Scotch removable tape, so I'd grab a couple pieces of those. And then right here, are the hinges and the handle. 
Okay, I'm sorry about that phone call. So, all right, we're gonna run this through our big shot. So this is the frame for the door. Then I'm going to run this through, which is the background. You wanna put it a little lower than center, okay? Because obviously we need to have room for this track up here. So, you know, that looks like mm, probably a half inch up there. So I'm gonna run that through like that. Then like I was showing you, you've got, these are the two hinges. Here and here. This is the track. And then this is the handle, all right? So those are all gonna be cut out and I was telling you this is a perfect time to use a scrap. So let me go get all these pieces cut out and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. And I wanted to show you, of course, I used my Scotch removable tape. So keep that down and bringing it over here. The two sliders, they just popped out like butter. So that's done. Let me put that away. And then my door, same thing. I don't want those dies sliding around. So let's keep our good side up because remember we had an uh-oh moment on the back. Put that away. Here's the rail, the handle, and the wreath. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring in, I've got a fine tip glue bottle here that I've got Tombow glue in. And I like it because it dries quickly. So let's go ahead so we don't lose any of these little pieces. And I am a huge fan of my little tiny tweezers. You can get these at just about anywhere, pharmacies, they carry tweezers, but they're the real fine tip. Now, where this comes to a point is where your handle goes. Trust me, I'm a farm girl, I know this. And uh, I've seen some cards where some people have put it over here and I'm like, no, no, they don't go there. Now, these little hinges, remember they just float, they don't really do anything. So there is a front and a back to them. You can tell when you cut them. So all you're wanting to do is just putting a little bit of glue down here around this rectangle and that's all you want. So let's go ahead and I've just put it right here on the edge. Grab my other one, make sure I have the correct side. That's the back side there. These fine tip glue bottles are perfect for this. And I like the Tombow in there because it just dries fat much faster than our regular fine tip glue. So that's done. So we can set that aside. Let's go ahead. This is the top. Remember we had a smaller amount of space down here. Let's go ahead and run some glue down that. And if you get a little of it on the outside, no heartburn. Remember, it's going to dry clear. So I'm just kind of centering it over the top. Now I've got a little special treat to show you for the inside of this little thing. So we're going to save that. Now I've got my door. Let's go ahead and put our wreath on too. And I'm not popping the wreath up because I've got enough dimension going on because I've got to use my foam strips. So let's just go ahead and put that right in the middle of our door. Let's grab our red. See how that cut out all by itself? Love that. Love that how you can either have it all the same or can cut one out all by itself. Cover that up, which actually gives it a little bit of dimension on its own. So that can be drying. Now, what you need to do is you need to have eight of the size, this is what I use, the eight, number eight flat washers. You wanna take, it takes two, four, six, eight, all right, to get it to slide to and from in there. So take one of your flat washers. You want to take 
one of our many dimensionals, put it in the middle. Whoops. Come here. Just put it in the middle of it. Okay. And then take another one and just put it right over the top. All you're doing is making a sandwich, okay? It's like an Oreo cookie with a mini dimensional in the middle. And I've gone ahead and done a total of four of them. So I've got four ready to go. These will actually, you can just literally pop them in, okay? So you don't have to go through and feel like that on every one of them, you got to stick the dimensional through there. If you put it down here on the bottom, they won't pop out, okay? So let's go ahead and do that, which we're probably doing it for nothing because we're going to put our foam on. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's put our foam strips on real quick. Foam strips. Gotta love the foam strips. We need to pop this up so that these can slide. So let's get our snips and just start. You want to keep it far enough away, though, so that it won't affect your washer sliding. Okay, so just remember that. Okay. Oh, I've got another one already cut here. Let's get that one, use it up. Keeping it away. I don't want you to be able to see it on the very edge of the card either, so I'm keeping it in just a smidge. And then I also want to keep it raised up above. So let's do that. I've got another piece here. I'll just use it over here. See, this kind of shows me how much space I need. And then let's grab one more for the top. we should be good there we go don't get rid of that just put it back on your sheet you're good to save that now let's go ahead and we'll let's see if we can go ahead and get these all in here see how I'm just kind of popping it in there There we go. Got them all in. Now let's push these down well and pull them off. All right. Now let's bring in the base of our card. And remember, this is the top. I'm just going to line that up. Push that down, so we're good there. Okay, here's our door. And the way you get your door on is you push these all the way over to the side. Grab yourself some of the glue dots and I'm going to use my piercing tool, but you want to use, you know, I'd say two or three glue dots on each one. We're going with two on each. Okay, so push it all the way to the edge. You want to do that because you want your door, you want to know where this door is going to end up on this track over here, okay? So, there's that. Now we want to push these all the way over and do the same thing. Come on. Work with me here, glue dot. We'll get another one. Just 
two more. There we go. Push them all the way to the side. Pick your door up. Slide your door over so you're at the edge here to where you know your track's going to stop and push it down. Okay. Now my door slides. Okay. It's cute, cute. Now let's go ahead while we're here. And I've just got a piece of Whisper White for the inside. Just because it's black and I want be able to put a sentiment inside. Okay, I see a little piece of fuzz there. Now, let me show you what I've created for the inside. May your troubles be less and your blessings be more. And that is a punch art cow that I have designed. Okay, so it's going to go right under here. And it's got a little dimension to it, but I think it's going to be just fine. Remember, don't do what I just did and get busy trying to film and not put your point back on your cap, back on your... I want to get that pretty close to the edge because I don't want it hanging up on the door. Okay, and then I'm just going to, I'm literally going to pick this up and slide this under. And center it up. And push it down. How stinking cute is that? I just had this little vision in my head. May your troubles be less and your blessings be more. And you slide it over and there's a cow. I love it, love it, love it. So there they are, both of them. Um, like I said, I've got some other videos out there where I show just a double door that opens. One that has a door on that doesn't open. Once again, this is the barn door bundle that I've used. If you get the barn door stamp set, you're going to want to get the sliding door uh, framelits that go with it. I mean, it's just a mess. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States. I'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos after this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.